Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanations. In this video, we are going to cover unit create report and dashboard folders from the project create reports and dashboards for sales and marketing managers. So this is the first unit of this uh, project. So as the name of this unit suggests, uh, create report and dashboard folders, this unit will revolve around the concept of how we can create the report and dashboard folders. We will also see uh, the creation of subfolders inside a main folder, how we can give access and what access uh, we can give uh, to particular users or roles or subordinates with whom we are sharing the folders. But before we move on further with launching our trailer playground and creating the reports and dashboard folders, there is one a note that I would like to highlight here. So here the note reads that if the new folder button is not present, it is recommended you create a new trailhead playground. So when you will launch your trailhead playground by which you are going to perform this uh, challenge, uh, if you find this new folder button, you can continue with the current uh, or the previous uh, trailhead playground already uh, you have uh, with that one. You can continue with that. But if it is not there, you have to create a brand new trailhead playground. So to be on safer side, I am using a brand new trailhead playground. If you want, you can or you cannot based on the condition if you are able to see this button. So uh, let's uh, quickly launch our Trailhead Playground and start over here. So go to App Launcher icon and select in the quick find, just type sales, select the sales option. And this will lead us to the sales app. Here, once it is loaded, we have to go to reports tab. As you can see over here, go to reports tab. And here it will open up the uh, report interface. Now here we have to create a new folder for reports. So click on this new button, new folder button and copy the name from the challenge, which is global sales reports. This is the label that we have to provide for which this folder will be named by. So paste this label in the label text area and the nickname will be auto populated. Click on save. So this will create a global sales reports uh, folder for us. Now inside this folder, we have to create few subfolders whose name has been mentioned over here in the challenge uh, admin lightning experience reports marketing reports and adoption reports we are going to create them one by one so copying the first one admin lightning experience reports i will go to the reports interface and click on new folder make sure you are inside global sales reports folder and paste this uh, label in the label text area Auto name will be auto populated. Click on save. Now, if you notice that this admin lightning experience report folder has been created inside global sales report folder. Now, next we have to create marketing report subfolder. So, copy this here and go back, click on new folder and paste it in the label text area. Click on save. Now for the third one, we are going to follow the same steps and quickly just create the third subfolder. Click on save. So all these three folders have been uh, created under global sales reports main folder. Now next we have to create dashboard. So click on this dashboard tab uh, just beside the report tab. So here also we have to create a folder inside the dashboard by the uh, by the label global sales dashboard. So I will be copying this name and click on this new folder button, paste the label like that we done uh, did for reports folder. So this will create a global sales dashboard folder. Now we have to share this uh, folder of dashboard with roles and subordinates. And there are a few roles uh, for by to which we have to share this uh, folder, channel sales team, Eastern sales team and Western sales team. So these are the roles with whom we have to share this folder. So go to the uh, created by me option under folder section, click on this option and you will find the dashboard folder, which we just created. So going to far right, you will find this drop down icon, click on this and select the share option coming up here. Clicking on this, it will open up a, a pop-up here. Now, with uh, on in uh, on the share with option we have to select role and subordinates for the names we have to select the roles which we just uh, saw in our channel the first one was channel sales team selecting this it will add here then next up we have eastern sales team select this as well and western sales team so these are the three roles and subordinate with whom we have to uh, share this 
with view access. So make sure it is view. We have edit and manage, so it has to be view. Click on this share button, and if you scroll down to uh, into this who can access uh, section, you will find these three roles ha have been added over here. Roles and subordinate have been added over here with view access. Click on done. That's all we had to do for this dashboard uh, sharing settings. Now, next, what we have to do, we have to do the same for the reports as well. Go back to your reports tab and under folder section, just go to created by me. Here you will find the report uh, folder that we just created. Over here on far right, you have to, uh, you will find this share option by clicking on this drop down icon. Now, for the share with option, we have to share it with the roles and subordinate again. And the names that we have are the same for that we have for the dashboard folder, channel sales team, Eastern sales team, and Western sales team. These are the roles and subordinates with whom we have to share uh, with view access and click on this share button once you have selected the roles and subordinate. And if you scroll down to who can access, you will find that other than our, uh, your own user, you have the other three users with view access. Uh, not users, but role and subordinates uh, with view access. Click on done. That's all we had to do for reports. Now, if you notice, we had created uh, subfolders inside global sales reports. So once we uh, share the main folder with the users or the roles and subordinates as specified our business requirement, the inside folders will automatically get shared with the same settings that we had provided for the main folder. That's all we had to do. Uh, let's go back to our challenge. We have shared this uh, dashboard as well and the reports uh, requirement that has been mentioned over here, we have done that as well. Now scroll down to verify step to 100 points. Uh, let's just see if we have qualified for this challenge to be completed. Let's wait for the output. There you go, this unit is completed. See you in the next video with another unit. Till then, take care, thank you.